Thank God it's Friday. Hey there, Escalarians. What's up? Mika here, and this is CEU Friday Features. We are now in our fifth episode for this season, but this will be your first episode with me, Mika, as one of the hosts of the show. So, let me say hi again. Tonight, we will have a conversation with an Escolarian who is a recipient of the University's Achiever Scholarship. But as always, before we proceed, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Our featured Escolarian is studying BS Biology with specialization in Microbiology and a third-year student from the CEU School of Science and Technology. We will talk about all his challenging yet fun college life as a scholar. So, Escolarian, let's meet Joan Shane Soriano. Hi, Shane. Welcome to CEU Friday Features. So, would you like to say hi to our Escolarian? Hi, Ate Mika, and hi to the audiences and our fellow Escolarians. Yeah, so to start off, first question. Can you tell us how did you end up studying in CEU and taking up the microbiology program? First of all, I took STEM in my senior high school. I took the STEM strand, so I am really eager to become a scientist or a doctor someday. So this came to mind that being a microbiology student will bring me closer or one step closer to my dreams. And so I found see you as a fit for my course and this is where I am now. How did you know the CEU Achiever Scholarship? As I was enrolling on my first year, the staff in the Science and Technology Department were very helpful to me and assisted me with all that I need. So they offered me this scholarship and asked me if I can maintain the grade. So, I accepted the offer and I'm proud to be one of the five students of BS Biology that is having the blessing of this scholarship. Well, that's very great to hear. So, um, what does the CEU Achiever Scholarship mean to you? Actually, it means a lot. It made me continue studying. Um, for three years, I've been blessed with the scholarship and it's really helping me put a less pressure to my parents also in terms of financial aspects. I am really, really, really blessed with the scholarship. It's a life-saving scholarship, to be honest. So can you share with us, Sheen, ano ba yung ginagawa ng parents mo for a living? We're just a very simple family. I mean, we're just an average family. My father is a tricycle driver, and my mother just recently came back to college to finish to finish her degree. So, where does your mom study, and anong program yung tinitake niya? My mom is studying BS Comsci. Ikaw personally, what is your driving force to continue to study? Um, simula pa lang naman kaya gusto ko magtapos ng pag-aaral kasi. Ayaw ko ma-discriminate. Alam ko pag nag-apply ng trabaho, ganyan. Yung educational attainment ng isang tao is ginagamit para ma-judge siya. So, ayaw ko ma-experience yung ganun. Gusto ko makatapos and hopefully, ma-perso ko hanggang maging doktor. Claiming it. So, I'd like to ask you also, bakit mo gustong maging doktor? Ano yung inspiration mo? Sabi mo, ever since bata ka pa lang, pangarap mo na yun. So, bakit? Uh, I like helping people. Um, I like to inspire people. I like to inspire them to have a healthier life. And mas okay mabuhay ng matagal. Kasi life is important. And I want to be a part of that. I want to make them feel that their life is important. And I want to save lives. Now, let us move on to the second part of our interview. So, Shin, you have experienced face-to-face classes um, for a year before the pandemic started. So, how was it like going through college in the middle of a worldwide pandemic and the transition from the face-to-face setup to the online setup? Hmm. It was fun before the pandemic. It was fun and it was challenging. 
But it was fun. I, I enjoyed every moment of it. I enjoyed college life. And I've had great friends. We had great moments helping each other, the commute, the traffic. For me, it was a very challenging experience, but it made me learn so many things. And after two years of online class, I really miss face-to-face classes. You had mentioned earlier that nung before pandemic, sobrang close nyo rin ang classmates mo. Of course, you have those moments um, in between classes. Pero ngayong online setup, syempre nawala rin lahat yun. So, ngayon, how do you assist your classmates who might be logging behind targets and um, output? So, meron ba kayong mga study group or do you guys meet online para makapag-compare notes and para makapag-group um, study? Hmm, every now and then, before exams, for midterms, before finals, we do a study group in GMIT two days before the exam. And we also have group chats, Discord, and other softwares that can help us communicate and give each other a heads up if there's a quiz that they can't remember. Pero namang bang time na you failed an exam or a class activity and how did you deal with that? So, medyo nagpanik ka ba? Kasi baka maka-apekto yun dun sa minimentain ng grades? Mapapakita natin yung, ano eh, yung pagiging strong natin pag hindi ka nagpadala sa isang exam. I mean, exam, isang exam lang eh. So, hindi ko iniisip na isang exam is yun na yung final grade ko. Well, um, I'm, I'm happy that you have that mindset and mukhang sobra siyang nakakatulong sa'yo and hindi ka pressure when it comes to maintaining your scholarship. So even if we're online, um, in the online setup, do you think that CEU is still able to help you um, in terms of your personal growth and maturity? So if yes, paano ka natutulungan ng CEU? In terms of maturity, CEU played a big part to myself in terms of improving my maturity and self-growth. Siguro through, ano, through activities. It helped me become more responsible and Every now and then, I take notes and CEU lang nakapagpagawa sa akin nun eh. <laughs> pin- pin- Nagkumagawa ko ng kalendaryo sa mga quizzes ko, sa mga events. Kasi sobrang daming events ng CEU and yun yung masaya kasi kahit na hindi na face-to-face. Every now and then, merong email, may Zoom, tapos may mga events na movie marathon, mga events ng mga clubs. So, yun. So, ngayong online setup, kasi syempre medical course kasi so marami kayong laboratory and hands-on classes. So, paano yung nagiging setup ninyo? Can you describe it um, for our viewers na medyo nalilito rin kung paano, nag- paano pinupush or paano pinupush through ng university yung online setup na laboratory where students are not allowed pa naman to go back into the campus? So, for example, uh, my subjects from biophysics and evolutionary biology. We have lab and lecture classes. For laboratory classes, we are using the software called Labster, which can be accessed through Canvas. So there is a drone which helps us do the things we need to do in the lab. So you have mentioned Lobster. So I think it is um, a new feature in CE for students who are uh, medical courses that are in the online setup also. So can you give us more details kung anong meron sa Lobster, kung paano siya nakakatulong sa mga um, classes mo ngayong online setup? Lobster is really flexible. It has quizzes. It makes you familiar with all the equipments in the lab and how to use them. In terms of simulation, when you're using Labster, you don't need to wait for a couple of days for an experiment to be done. It can be simulated, so work is faster in Labster, but you really need face-to-face. I keep on saying that because face-to-face is really important in terms of lab activities. So, Ayan. so um, with that, um, can you still say na natututo ka pa rin and that you are, as we call it, future ready when it comes to um, yung mga natutunan mo ngayong online setup. Are you confident that even if makagraduate ka nang nasa online setup lang tayo, once that you get to the real world, um, na kaya mo nang gawin lahat at i-apply lahat ng natutunan mo? I mean, you can still learn a lot from online class, but lahat naman ata ng employee, 
na experience nila yung mga mas dapat nilang matutunan through experience sa pagtatrabaho nila. I mean, you can't turn everything at school. So, you also need to have an experience with the actual job. If I graduate from CEU, I, ho- I hopefully graduate from CEU. Mm, I'm confident that I can do the job properly because I have the knowledge given. Ayan, so that is very nice to hear naman. So before we say goodbye to you, Sheen, how about we play a game of relate or not relate? So for this game, I will be reading statements and kailangan mo lang sabihin if it's relatable for you or if it is not so relatable, okay? So um, let's proceed to our first statement. Nagbabantay ka ba ng grades sa CEU portal? Relate. So next statement. So, are you active sa mga student organizations and events kahit na nasa online setup tayo? Really? So, anong event yung so far na alam mong pinaka-favorite mo na na-attendan mo ngayong online setup tayo? I think it's the microbiology kumustahan. Yeah. As far as I can remember, that's the last event that I attended. Ayan. So, for this third statement. So, Sheen, gusto mo na bang bumalik sa face-to-face classes? Really? Relate. Relate. So, ready ka na ba ulit bumiyahe, matraffic, mahassle sa daan? Makabalik lang tayo sa face-to-face setup. I'm ready and I really need it. Everybody needs it. Yeah, actually, I also agree with you. So, next. Um, being a scholar, nabababaan ka na ba sa DOS na final grade? Yes, relate. Because my requirement is 2.25. So, anong grade yung lowest na natanggap mo? Na, um, do you, did you ever receive a 2.5 or nakikatrest ka rin? Sa final grade, yes. Uh, no, I didn't receive lower than 2. Mm, that's good. So, ibig sabihin, uh, nakakapasok ka rin sa ating Dean's List and President's List. So, for our last statement, ito, um, since scholar ka rin, can you relate sa mga students na todo yung pagpa-follow up sa admissions office para sa approval ng scholarship nila? Not to the point na annoying na. Kasi mamaya, di nila i-approve lang ko lang siya. <laughs> so, if there is one takeaway that I have um, with our episode, it's that our setup right now, this is not time-wasted. So, it is an investment on how um, we will be pushing through with our lives in the future. So, kahit na na-disrupt yung ating usual grind, yung ating schedules, lahat ng plano natin sa buhay, um, God surely has a plan for us, a better plan, of course, for us in the future. So, with that, again, I would like to thank you so much, Shane, for being with me in this episode. So, would you like to say your farewell message to our Escolarian? Thank you, Atimika, and for the rest of your crew, I would like to thank you for featuring me in this episode. And to my fellow Escolarians, thank you for watching this, and I hope you find inspiration to my answers, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much again, Shane, and we are all rooting for you and your future career as a doctor. Bye, Shane! And that's a wrap! You have someone in mind that you want to be featured here on our show? You can comment their name and what topic you want us to discuss with them and we will surely get on that. See you in our next episode, Escolarians. Again, Mika here and this is CEU Friday Features.